All right, hello viewer. Today I will go over soloing necks using magic in Blisscape. Uh, first of all, here is the equipment you should be using for this. Um, you're obviously your best magic equipment. This is mine at the moment. And I'll just right click each of these in case you can't tell what they are by the icon. I would recommend at least having the Arcane Stream Necklace and the Chaotic Staff for their magic damage percent bonuses. Mine's at plus 35 right now. Uh, in conjunction with uh, the magic boost from an overload potion and the turmoil curse, I can hit around 620 to 630 with Blood Barrage as a critical hit. Um, in the inventory, uh, bring obviously Blood Barrage runes. Um, I have a Steel Titan summoned right now, and so I'm bringing Steel Titan scrolls. It takes, I don't know, roughly 20 to 30 of them per kill, but that's really entirely up to you and how tired your familiar is feeling. Uh, for runes, take about two or 300 casts per kill. That's the bare minimum. I just bring a handful. An Overload, Prayer Renewal, and Super Anti-Poison. Uh, with my equipment, I have plus 13 prayer, and a prayer renewal is fine to get through it with having turmoil and either magic protect or soul split activated the entire time. If you if you have a very low prayer bonus, you may want to consider bringing a super restore or a prayer potion along with you as well. Okay, so we'll get started. Before you head down, uh, turn on turmoil and deflect magic go down and then uh, once it begins Nex is going to be summoning her minions and you won't be able to attack her yourself but your familiar will be able to so I'll go down call the familiar and then do a whole bunch of these attacks as she's calling out her minions use up all of these steel titan scrolls and now my familiar's tired, and now I can attack. Right, now she's letting the virus th flow through me. Yes, it is near the end of flu season, but I got a shot, so I'll be fine. When she does There Is No Escape, just don't get in the way. You'll get hurt for some pretty massive damage. But standing on the bridge near the entrance, you probably won't be hit by it. Uh, she just called her first minion Fumus. It's a, it's Fumus. Uh, so run over here, start attacking Fumus. Switch to your Soul Split prayer curse, I mean, to heal up. Soul Split with Blood Barrage heals about 200 HP whenever you see a 10k experience drop. So that's a fine benchmark. Overload's wearing off, which means the prayer renewal's wearing off. So I'll bring those back. Continue to attack, heal, attack, heal. She did the There Is No Escape routine again, which is really just a brief respite during this phase. It's not too dangerous if you know where you are. And now this next phase, uh, it gets dark. Don't touch these shadows on the ground. Just don't. They hurt very badly. Just stay here in the corner. During this phase, make sure your titan's attacking her, dodge the shadows. This phase, I think, is the most damaging of the phases to me. Um, even if you dodge all the shadows, her range attack can still hit you for quite a lot, that one there. Uh, it, it's hit about 750 on me before, so just be very careful.
pretty soon. I think sh her other minion should become vulnerable over here. Yeah. Boomba. Go for the shadow. Yeah, the shadow thing is still going on. Just position yourself and your titan in a manner where you can both have a clear line of sight to the minion. Um, if you're some other place around these walls, then w your titan will not be able to get a clear shot and will just not be able to attack. Gotta eat a lot right here. That's not fun. The next phase of Nex, after this is dead, she will go through all of these routines to fill her lungs with blood, as you see. Uh, now you don't have to worry about the shadows anymore, but you have to run all the time. So she'll do two moves. Um, one where she puts you in these silly little red robes and you run away. And you run away. The other one is she'll say siphon something and then you run away as well. This was the silly red robes one. Just run away. Just attack again. Uh, during the siphon one, she can summon these blood reaver guys. They don't really do much. Uh, see, like that. And looks like those ones died. Ooh, I want pure essence. And now I'm in the red robes again, so I gotta run. The game even tells me to run. Uh, these blood reaver guys are pretty good for healing. If you are really in desperate need of that and don't want to eat anything. I need to keep play paying close attention that my titan is still attacking her. Sometimes it forgets what it's doing. There's the siphon again, so I'll just keep my distance. Keep healing up. Let's see, Titan's just like, oh, what the heck, what was I supposed to do? You're supposed to attack, man. See, that was some good healing. Looks like this minion will be vulnerable pretty soon. She did it at the same time she said something else, so it wasn't very obvious, but still, keep running when your character gets those silly red robes like this over and over and over. And my titan's attacking next, which is kind of useless, because she's invulnerable when you're supposed to be attacking the minions. So, your priority now should be killing the minions. Well, staying alive is your main priority. Overlord went off. So did that one. Goodness gracious, stop it. Stop doing that. Oh my word. For some reason on this minion with Blood Barrage, your character wants to run right immediately in front of him to attack. It's not too much of an issue. Now this next phase that the minion's dead, she healed a lot from that siphon actually, I shouldn't have let that happen. Uh, the titan's just hanging her out, so make yourself useful. And every time you set your titan to attack, you have to attack yourself as well. This is, I guess, like her ice magic phase. But it's not that dangerous. 
the Titan's just dancing, but it's still doing some work, so I won't bother it too much. So it's not doing much work. In this phase, for the most part, your Blood Barrage Soul Split combination should keep you alive. It's doing pretty well for me right now. Now there's no escape, I guess, so you just stay here and wait for her to come back. My Titan remembered where she was. That's a first. next minion is open, and so I should have said this earlier, all the minions become vulnerable in a clockwise pattern starting at the northwest corner. This is the fourth and final one. Getting real up close and personal with this minion. Actually too close to attack it looks like. Oh boy. Now that I and my Titan have a clear shot at this minion, it can keep healing up. She puts on Turmoil and Soul Split. Uh, finally, for some reason. It's not a great strategy on her part. Um, but your strategy should be to stay in this corner and wait for her to be in range and then attack. You might need to heal a little bit by eating, but Blood Barrage and Soul Split should take care of most of your damage. Oh, there's no escape again. Potions will wear off 30 seconds again, you can see. We use this brief moment to drink those potions. Wow, that was a lousy hit, Titan. Aren't they all getting reflected back on him? When next dies, she puts on this Wrath Prayer, which will hurt you for like 450 or 500 damage if you're close enough. So be careful when that happens. There it is. Run away. And you don't get hit. I got Grimy Avento, 75 of them, and 4 charms. So I go to the donator zone after you kill her to pray up and bank your stuff. And that's about it, so thanks for watching.